disaster. That's what the president of the Fresno Police Officers Association says is to come if the city cannot attract more police officers. Right now, the department is down around 60 officers. And if things continue, it, they could be down 100 officers by next year. As CBS 47's Medeiros Bab explains, the police union says Fresno is not an attractive location for out-of-town officers. Fresno Police Officer Association president says that there's a lot of factors that contribute to this problem, but at the end of the day, it's slowing down response times and contributing to Fresno's crime spike. Obviously a direct correlation and effect on the community and their safety. And these are families that are being destroyed, not just the murder rate, but just shootings. Last year, crime out of control in Fresno with over 780 shootings and 70 murders. Already this year, there have been 12 homicides. A Fresno Police Officer Association President Brandon Weimiller says even with officers working 15-hour days, recently a shooting victim had to wait 10 minutes for help because other officers were busy. Just imagine your loved one being shot, laying on the ground, you've called 911, and think of how long 10 minutes is. The city budget allows for around 840 officers, but the department is down approximately 60. The crime spike, understaffing, social climate, and COVID pandemic all factors. But Y. Miller claims it's also the lack of support from the city council. Our agency isn't uh, even attractive enough. Uh, get officers to come here. Council member Mike Carbasi says he's fed up with some of his colleagues, quote, bad mouthing police. The rhetoric has to stop. We have to grow up. We have to stop being Democrats and Republicans. We have to start supporting public safety. That is the number one responsibility of every council member. And if they're unwilling to do that, they really should resign. Council President Luis Chavez argues the council as a whole does support law enforcement and points to the $40 million increase the department's budget has had since 2018. Collectively as a body, we have voted to support our police officers. Um, regardless of what is said on social media or what is interpreted. No matter who's to blame, all three do agree that something needs to change or will be catastrophic for Fresno's future. Reporting from headquarters, Medeiros Bab, CBS 47, Eyewitness News.